I wanted a simple, easy to implement kindergarten social studies curriculum. And I decided to try My Story K. Today, I'm gonna to share with you guys what we thought of it. I'm gonna share with you what it entails, how this curriculum is laid out, the pros and the cons, and our personal opinion. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are going to help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. So My Story K is put out by Masterbooks. Timber Dogo Company was generous enough to send me a copy free for me to review and give my honest feedback. That's exactly what I'm going to do today, guys. Let's take a look inside this curriculum. There are four classes that your child is going to go on throughout the year, and they are divided up into nine lessons each. So think of them like units. You've got Quest 1, which is my family and culture. Quest 2, my citizenship. Quest three, my geography, and quest four, my financial things. But each lesson is one week. So these will take you two days a week. It takes you about 30 minutes, and this will last you for a total of 36 weeks. I highly recommend if you use this curriculum that you check out these beginning pages as they explain all of the different elements and how to use this guide. There is a lot of elements here, and I do think that can be both a pro and a con, and we'll talk more about that later. Something that's great about Masterbooks is you really don't have to do any lesson planning. They break it up for you week one, day one, week one, day two. They'll tell you exactly what pages to read, what activity pages to do. If there's any special projects, they'll explain it all here. They have a place where you can put your due date. I oftentimes like to just, you know, keep track of what date they actually completed the item and then we'll check it once it's done. But this year we're using Homeschool Panda, so I did all of that digitally instead of writing it in the book. Now, as I mentioned, there are four quests. So each quest has its own quest collector card. Within each lesson, your child is going to be looking for this bolded word as you're reading through the lesson. I did like this element as it kept my kids engaged and interested as we were reading and they were looking for that keyword. Now let's look what the actual lesson looks like. This is lesson one talking about my family and me, and it has developmental mile markers of what we're looking for, what we're looking to accomplish, what we're looking to engage with the child, lesson goals and supplies. Thankfully, all the supplies were things that I typically had around my house. So I very much appreciated that. You'll see at the beginning of the lesson, there will be a word collector card. For instance, this one is culture and it explains the definition of culture and has some pictures to illustrate people's different cultures. Go time is just a fun word for the actual basis of the lesson. This is where you're oftentimes going to find that special word. So keep that in mind. You're then going to have a scripture section that is going to have a scripture and sort of a devotional related to that word. And then language time. This is one of my girls' favorite parts of this curriculum is that they actually learned how to say thank you in many different languages. So here you're learning how to say thank you in Arabic. In other lessons, you're going to learn how to say thank you in those languages as well. They have a great pronunciation guide, which is fantastic if you're not fluent in these languages. This is moving into lesson one, day two. So you can see at the top, they'll guide you exactly on how far to go. A lot of times they will start out the day with an activity. I did this book with my two daughters. And so instead of writing in the book, we just did this on additional piece of paper. They were supposed to write out and draw a picture of their family and what we thought makes them special. Then there's helping time hands. This is where they're gonna highlight a community helper or they're going to highlight um, a little bit more about the word of the week. And then there's some talking points, some discussion points. This time can be very rich. And I would encourage you if you're going to use this curriculum to not skip over this part. This kind of gives you your opportunity to like dig a little further in things that your kids are maybe picked up on and are interested in or that you want to highlight. At the end of every lesson, you'll flip back to the back section in the book where it says my book time. Then your child is going to fill out these pages. There's one for each and every lesson. At the end of the curriculum, they'll have a book to flip through. I didn't find this element to be as engaging. So at first we went through a lot of this orally as we went on and we moved on further. I just decided to skip this element altogether. But for some, this can be a great thing. So where we live, what's the student's first name? Are they a boy or a girl? Name the street they live on, the hometown. So we did all of this, but we went through it verbally. It is a cool element, but it just was not something that we were interested in. But the nice thing about this curriculum, like I said, one of the strengths is they have so many different elements. You can definitely pick and choose what you want to do. And now you're into lesson two. So that's how simple it is to implement. 
Now in the back of the book, you're going to find a bunch of flashcards. These are up to you if you want to use them. I do recommend if you do use them that you get yourself a shoebox or even just an index card holder to hold all of them because it's a lot of pieces otherwise. Um, but I want to show you guys a few samples of what that looks like. For each of the scripture times, they had a Bible verse. And so with that, they have a Bible verse card that you can cut out for each lesson that has the verse on the front and has the reference on the back. Here are flashcards that help you review those thank yous in different languages. And then there is also the word collector card. At the beginning of the lesson, there is a word collector card for each one of them. So purchase, what does that mean? To buy things from a person or a store. Um, and you can utilize these with your kiddos too. The final kind of flashcard that there is, is the geography flashcards. And these are really cool. We haven't gotten to these in the back. You could definitely cut them all out and prep them in advance. Um, but I actually liked keeping them in the book until I was ready to use them again. So we didn't misplace pieces, um, but they'll talk about what is an ocean and then have a picture of an ocean on the back. There's also these fun continent map coloring pages that you can use with your kiddos. Again, we just went over this stuff more verbally. And then finally, there is an answer key in the back, although I highly doubt you're going to need it, but it is always nice to know what the creators are looking for in case you have any questions. Now that we've taken a look inside and you've seen how the lessons are laid out and what is kind of required to as a parent, I wanna talk about some of the pros and the cons of this curriculum. One of the big pros is that it is super easy to implement. You really don't need a lot of additional tools. You don't need a lot of additional resources. And it is definitely something that's just very open and go. Another pro is all of the different elements of the lesson. And then it covers so many things. It introduces a little bit of language and some Bible time. And it introduces activities and community helpers and all of the things. Another pro is that this is all you need. There is no teacher's guide. It is literally just the student workbook, the teacher guide all in one. So it does make things a little bit easier and again, makes it perfect for on the go. And of course, the fact that the materials that you're going to need for your lessons are things that you have around your home is also a pro because with kindergarten, I want it to be fun, exciting, but I also, as a mom, don't have a ton of time to be running around to all the different stores to grabbing all the random supplies that a lot of times are needed for many curriculums, especially at the kindergarten age. But what about the cons? Every curriculum has a con. Doesn't mean it's a bad curriculum. It's just things that you need to know to make sure you're making an educated decision before purchasing a curriculum. One of the biggest cons for me is how many elements there are in the lessons and all the different elements. It can be a lot to keep up with. And sometimes, you know, you may just prefer to have one thing that you're focusing on instead of having a lot of little pieces or elements to a lesson. The second con, in my opinion, is that the lessons are short and almost in some ways it seems a little too short. Um, that there really could have been a lot more explanation still in a child kid appropriate kindergarten way um, But that it's very touching the surface of a lot of different topics instead of diving deep into anything Another personal con to this curriculum and this may be more of my personal opinion Maybe I'm bleeding too much into that But is that I really wish there would have been some literature recommendations to dig just a little bit deeper I know that master books prides itself in being an all-in-one curriculum So I recognize they may not want to incorporate that as like an actual part of the lessons that you have to do but I wish they would have just had a suggested book list or something to read a little bit more about each of the topics with your kiddos especially in the kindergarten age I feel like that's the beauty of it is getting to dive into good books and play activities now that being said I've only gotten through halfway through the book so I want to be fully transparent that there may be those things later in the book and they just haven't gotten there yet so now what are my personal opinions, my personal feelings on this book? Again, take everything with a grain of salt, knowing that me and my family are different than you and yours. And so you may have different perspectives and my reasons for not liking this curriculum as much may be the exact reasons why you would love it. So as you can probably guess, and if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I was kind of disappointed by the My Story K curriculum. And part of it is because I just feel like it does go way too broad on like everything and doesn't really get into anything at the same time. And I really felt like I had to add a lot to be what I was hoping for it to be. Now, that could have just be misplaced expectations for sure. Um, I did like elements. We loved the language time. Like I mentioned, they really, really loved that. Um, the word collector cards, 
are okay, but they felt random at times to me personally. I did like the geography card, just getting to talk about different geography concepts, um, but I really did not care for the Bible time at all, even though obviously if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you know I love getting into God's Word, but I felt like some of the devotionals were a little bit of a stretch. I also felt like some of the selection of lessons within each quest were a bit random. So the first quest is supposed to be my family and culture. I can think of so many different ways that I would go with that with teaching my child. And it started out strong, talking about what does your family look like? What are holidays and traditions that you might follow? But then it went into what does play look like and games and toys, which I guess to some extent makes sense a little bit, but I didn't feel like they really brought out a lot of the differences of the different kinds of toys. Like I wouldn't have even minded that much if they had dug into like, well, in this country, they like to play with these toys, which might be different than the toys you like to play with. But I just felt like it was just talking about toys in general, which felt a little random. And then after that, they followed up with clothing and uniforms. But the example that they used for the word uniforms was things like a, what a geisha would wear or newlyweds in India wearing traditional wedding garbs um, or couples dressed up in costumes in the past in Europe. I personally wouldn't consider these uniforms. Um, but again, maybe I just have the wrong definition. Now, what did I like about this curriculum? I really did appreciate that they did cover a lot of topics. And what we have ultimately ended up using this curriculum as is a jumping off point. I knew that I could kind of create my own social studies curriculum for kindergarten. I just didn't want to take all the time that it took to collect all of the resources and to find the different topics. And so ultimately I have gone to collecting a lot of my own resources to supplement this, but I am using the lesson sort of as an outline. I'm skipping the random ones that I don't really love like the ones that I just mentioned, but there are a lot of great lessons in here. I'm enjoying kind of using it to make my own curriculum and it is making it easier by just having those outlines, having those worksheets, having those flashcards. I can pick and choose what I want to use, when I want to use it. And um, I do like the idea that it is short in lessons that are only two days a week and we have definitely kept up with that kind of schedule. I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. I am so thankful for the Timber Company for letting me try out this curriculum and share with you guys my honest perspective. Here is a playlist of other Timber Doodle products that I have gotten to try and have really enjoyed using and you guys should check that out and see what other things they have to offer on their website and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye!